See what happens when you let your scrap yarn pile up? You get a yarn leech infestation. Hello everyone and welcome to Skein Spider. Today is our first pattern of 2022 and we're going to be making yarn leeches. This pattern is actually going to be a scrap stash video. If you saw my previous video last week, you'll know that I've changed up how I do the scrap stash. I'm not doing the really fast scrolling pattern anymore. I'm going to do it like I do my regular patterns. I'm just going to keep it for little patterns like this that I actually use scrap yarn for. So going forward, that's how the scrap stash is going to be. And with that being said, let's dive straight into the yarn leech pattern. Grab the hooks and let's get started. To make a yarn leech, you're going to need both a three and a 3.5 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, a needle, pins, stuffing, eight ply yarn in white, red, and a color of your choice, a pair of 12 millimeter safety eyes, and the optional material of some Velcro. We're going to start off by making the body, and for that, you're going to need your 3.5 millimeter hook and your yarn in whatever color you like. So I'm using this dark green. And we're going to begin round one by putting six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is six increases and an increase is just two single crochet in each stitch from round one. For round three, we're going to start by doing three single crochet. Two and three. And then we're going to do three increases in a row. So in the next stitch, we're going to put one, two single crochet in the same stitch. And we're going to do the same for the next two stitches. Increase. and increase and then we're just going to repeat that pattern again so we're going to do three single crochet and then three increases round four starts with one single crochet and then we're going to do an increase in the next stitch And after that increase, we're going to repeat two single crochet, one increase, five times. When you've done your fifth increase, there should be one stitch left in your round, and we're just going to put a single crochet into that. Round five is going to be three single crochet and an increase repeated six times. At the end of round five, you should have 30 stitches in your round and then round six is just going to be 30 single crochet. Round seven starts off with six single crochet. And then we're going to repeat one single crochet, one increase six times. So we're doing one single crochet and increase in the next stitch. And you're going to do that five more times or six in total. When you've done your sixth increase, we're just going to finish the round with single crochet and there should be 12 of those all up. At this point, we should have 36 stitches in our round and then rounds eight through to 12 are going to be 36 single crochet each. After round 12, we're going to add our safety eyes. So I'm just going to secure my end. Before we actually add the safety eyes, what we need to do is make sure we're putting them in the right spot. 
So in round seven, we started with six single crochet, but then we did that repeat of one single crochet, one increase six times. So that's going to make our front, so this end here, slightly wider than the back. This part, the wider part, is going to be the front of the leech or the head. So what you want to do is make sure that that part, where that one single crochet, one increase repeat is, you want to make sure that's facing forward. So when that's facing forward, you're then going to press your leech in half. And at this point, you can bring in your safety eyes. And I'm going to put them between rounds 10 and 11. So we'll count out 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Here we go. And what I'm going to do is place them on either side of the head. So that's why we've pressed our little leech flat. So that way, if it's flat, you can try and line your eyes up. So I've got one here. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to go to round 10 and 11. And I want to try and get these even. When the safety eyes are in, we're going to continue on with round 13. And we're going to begin round 13 with 30 single crochet. When you've done your 30th single crochet, there should now be six stitches left in the round and we're not going to work into those. Instead, what we're going to do is skip those, but we're also going to be skipping the first six stitches of the round. So for round 14, we're going to begin by skipping six stitches, but all up we're skipping 12. So we're skipping the last six and then we're going to count out one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then in the seventh, that's where we're going to start round 14. So again, we're skipping six here. We're going to count out one, two, three, four, five, and six from the start of the round. And then we're going to fold our work in half. And you're going to insert your crochet hook into stitch number seven and single crochet into there. This single crochet that we've just done into stitch number seven is going to become round, no, <laughs> stitch. It's going to become stitch number one of round 14. So I'm just going to move my stitch marker to here. So at this point, we should have 12 stitches that we've skipped here. So we skipped six at the end of the last round and we skipped six in the first part of this round. And we should have 24 stitches then that we can work with here. So round 14 is just going to be worked in this section. We're not going to use these stitches just yet. And we're going to do two single crochet, one decrease repeated six times. We've already done our first single crochet. That's where we place the stitch marker. I'm going to do one more. And then we're going to do an invisible decrease. To do that, we're going to go under the front loops of the next two stitches. And the front loop is the part of the stitch that's closest to you. So our stitches look like little Vs. The part of the V that's closest to you, that's the front loop. So go under the first front loop with your crochet hook. Go under the second front loop. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through both of those front loops. At this point, you should have two loops on your hook. You're just going to yarn over and pull through both of those loops to finish your decrease. And you're going to repeat that five more times or six in total. Round 15 is going to be one single crochet, one decrease repeated six times. And then round 16, which is going to be our final round, is just six decreases. When you've finished your final round, what we're going to do is cut a tail, but you're going to cut a tail 
that's a bit longer than you normally would when you're finished off an amigurumi piece because we're going to use this tail to both close up the hole but also sew these remaining stitches together. So you want to make it a little bit longer than normal. You need to snip it there. Pull up with your hook and then grab your needle. To close this hole, you're just going to thread your needle with the tail. And then we're going to go under the front loops of the last six stitches. So you want to start from behind the front loop and you're going to push your needle under it and forward towards you. One, five, and six, there we go. And at this point, we're going to stop and add stuffing. I'm just going to leave my needle attached, but you can take it out if you like. And we're just going to push the stuffing in through that 12 stitch gap that we've left. When you've got all your stuffing in, we're just going to finish off here. So you want to pull on the yarn that you've just threaded through the last six front loops until the hole closes up. And then you're going to insert your needle straight back into the center of that final round. And you're going to push your needle out through the first stitch that we skipped when we did those 30 single crochet. So what was that round 13, I think? I think so. <laughs> so we've pushed our needle out of that first stitch. Now, because we've got 12 stitches left, what we're going to do is pair them up. So we're going to sew stitch one to stitch 12, stitch two to stitch 11, and so on all the way down the tail. So we're just going to get the stuffing in there and then sew the two sides together. And then finally, we're just going to weave this tail end back through the body a couple of times. And then just snip off any excess. The next piece we're going to make is the mouth. And for this, we're going to need both our 3.5 and our three millimeter hooks. We're going to start with our 3.5 because we're making the mouth part. But when it comes to making the teeth, we're going to be using our three millimeter hook and switching to white yarn. So we're going to begin by putting six single crochet in a magic circle. Round two is two single crochet and one increase repeated twice. For round three, we're going to be working in the back loop only, and the back loop is the part of the stitch that's furthest away from you. And we're going to do one single crochet, one increase repeated four times. When you've finished round three, just stop for a moment and make sure that you can see the front loops that have been left over because we worked in the back loop and there should be eight of those in total that make a little ring around your work. We need those because that's where we're going to be adding the teeth. So if you can't see your front loops, if you've accidentally worked into them, you're going to have to take out round three and then redo it in the back loop only because we need to attach the teeth to that when we finish the mouth. So if you have done that, if you do see the little ring of front loops, we're going to continue on with round four, which is going to be 12 single crochet. We're just going to slip stitch to finish off and leave a tail so we can sew the mouth onto the body. Next, we're going to be adding our teeth. So for that, you want to grab your three millimeter hook and your white yarn. And then what we're going to do is, we need to get rid of this first. We're going to fold our work out the right way. So if it's curled in on itself, you want to just fold it out until the right sides of our stitches are showing. And we can see that ring of front loops that we've left from round three. So you're going to insert your hook into one of the front loops. It doesn't really matter which one. You're going to bring in your white yarn, 
line it up behind your hook, yarn over in the white, pull it through the first front loop, and then you're going to slip stitch to join. Now this slip stitch is going to count as a stitch in our round, so that's going to be stitch number one. What we're then going to do is go into the next stitch and we're going to do a picot, well, it's more like a mini picot stitch or half a picot stitch because we're going to be chaining two, not three. So we're going to start by doing a single crochet into that next front loop and then you're going to chain two. One and two. To complete the picot stitch, we need to work into the back bump. Now the back bump is this little bump of yarn behind your work here. So if you look at the front, you can see the two little V's that we've made with our chain. If you turn those over, the back bump is this little bump of yarn behind those. So if you need to, just turn your work over and then we're going to go into the first back bump. So that's from the first chain and we're going to single crochet into that. In the next front loop, we're going to do another slip stitch. So go into the front loop, yarn over, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And then we're going to do another picot stitch in the next front loop. So you're going to begin with a single crochet. Chain two, one, and two. Single crochet into the back bump of the first chain. And then slip stitch into the next front loop another picot stitch in the front loop after that. One more slip stitch. And then we should have one more front loop to go. We're just going to place another picot stitch or a half picot stitch, whatever you want to call it, into that front loop. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the back bump and then to finish we're just going to slip stitch into that original front loop that we used so we did one slip stitch in there already to start off and we're just going to do another one to finish so all up that pattern was basically one slip stitch one half the coast stitch repeated four times so to finish off you're just going to leave a tail that you can weave in or if you don't want to weave it in you can do the cheaty version which I'm going to do is to grab your yarn, the tail end of the white yarn, thread it through your needle. You just want to insert that out through the back of your piece. And I'm going to do the same with the tail end that's left over from where we first joined the white yarn. At the back. And at this point you can weave your stitches in, but like I said before, I'm doing the cheaty way and I'm just going to tie them off probably three or four times nice and tightly so they're secure. And then snip off any excess yarn. And then all we have to do now is sew our little leech mouth to the body. So you're going to place that underneath the leech. And if you'd like to, you can bring the mouth up further. It's sort of up to you where you'd like it to sit. And then just pin it in place. So grab your needle and you're going to thread the tail end through that. And then just sew your mouth down onto the body. there we go one little yarn leech now if you'd like to add the velcro you can do so I've just got a couple of this sticky velcro here but I'm going to be cutting that into quarters because I don't need the whole thing for that so I'm just going to and I'll do the same for this one So what you're going to do is just take your Velcro, if you don't have a sticky piece you'll have to sew it down or glue it down, 
and I'm just going to place it in the center of the mouth between all the teeth. And then you can place the other side of Velcro on whatever you'd like to stick your leech to. But that'd probably work on yarn. <laughs> there we go. So that is our little yarn leech. If you do make one, feel free to share it with me over on Instagram. All of my links are down in the description. But for now, we are finished. So I will see you guys next week with a new pattern.